Hi there, post number two, <laughs> expressing yourself through your own personal style. My friends and I are all about changing our look. My hair, for example, is my blank canvas. I love to experiment and get creative. Here, let me show you some of my favorite looks. This is fun and super easy. <laughs> I woke up especially playful here. I love those hair colors that you can just wash out. I think I felt a little bit more serious in this one. Oh, I needed to ask my friends for help on this, but how cool is that? And I love my hair just loose and wavy too. There's just so many different hairstyles to try. I also experiment and play with fashion. I love taking an old t-shirt and making it feel fresh and new again. You can do that with tie-dye or fabric markers or just cutting the sleeves off an old shirt. I like to use patches. I collect them. I love owls and I thought it was so cute to just have them sitting on the number like that. Also, this one's from Chelsea because she loves cupcakes. Whenever I wear this shirt, it makes me so happy because I just remember the time we spent decorating it together. So, my sign off for today, you've got to try new things to discover new things. Also, keep an eye out for some fun videos from my friends about their style ideas. Pace, positive attitude changes everything. Just think about it. Bye! Hey guys! So, there are a lot of makeup tutorials out there, and with Halloween just around the corner, I was inspired to do my own. This will be a comic book pop art style makeup, and I hope you like it. So I already started with a makeup base on with my foundation, and we're gonna jump right into our contour lines. Now basically the rule is you want to do a very sharp, clear line wherever you would normally contour. Draw a straight line down the center of the nose and draw lines on either side of the bridge of the nose and around the nostrils. Then, the jawbone, the chin, and under the cheekbone. You can also outline the most prominent parts of the ear, which is really fun and makes the ear look multidimensional. Next, we're gonna do the eyes. Fill in thick black eyebrows with a liquid liner. Then, use any color you want for the eyeshadow as long as it's bright and fun. Outline the eyeshadow joining up to the eyeliner and thicken the eyeliner to match. And line underneath the bottom lash line and draw in some exaggerated lashes at the edges. And lips. First, outline the lips. Then, fill in the lips with a bright lipstick color, leaving a small rectangular shape in one of the corners. Then, dots. Lots and lots of dots. With the bottom end of a makeup brush, apply makeup and dots all over the face. And finally, the hair. I like to go with a brightly colored wig, but you can also look at comic books for ideas. So that is my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you have a fun and safe Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. On Halloween, you could be anything you want. In fact, could you leave a comment below and tell me what you're gonna dress up as? Peace. Hey guys, so the number one request in the comments has been a Ken does my makeup tag. So just for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. All right, are you excited for this makeup challenge? I am super excited about this. I'm a little bit nervous maybe, but bigger question is, are you excited? Well, if you're nervous, I'm, I'm probably a little nervous now too, but I'm mainly excited. <laughs> but I did do my own makeup for the eighth grade play, if you remember. Yeah, you were a frog. You, you played a frog. Yeah, so I just need a little green eyeshadow. And you things perfect. Oh boy. Okay. This is for you guys. <laughs> All right, you ready to get started? Oh. I think so. Is this concealer? Oh, that's... <laughs> um, that doesn't do exactly what I thought it was going to do, no, but no. that's a lot of powder. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Look on me, I'll just keep my eyes Actually, I don't like that one. Did you, did you just lick your finger? Uh, perfection, perfection <laughs> takes time, people. I mean, I wouldn't want to tell you how to do your art, but that's a lot. Thank you, no one, no one told Picasso how to paint. C'est beaucoup. <laughs> you were so strange. Pas possible. Hmm. <laughs> okay, take a look. Are you sure? No, I'm sure. You think you're done? Okay. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Do you like it? Yeah. Yes, it's a cat. <laughs> oh, nice work, Ken. Thank you. Nice work. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Pace. Pace. Hey there, it is craft day with Chelsea. What are we gonna make today? 
Well, I wanted to share with you something that Herberto and Hazel taught me how to make. Unicorn hair! Wait, who are Herberto and Hazel? You know, they're hairdressers in Wispy Forest. In Dreamtopia, they're the hedgehog hairdressers. Oh. <laughs> they are so funny. Right, I remember now. <laughs> Wispy Forest, that's a neighborhood in Dreamtopia where your hair expresses whatever you want it to be. And Herberto and Hazel are these amazing hairdressers. And they taught me how to make unicorn hair. And I'm going to teach you with Barbie. <laughs> Fantastic. What do we need? OK, since we don't have magic in this world. Well, that we know about. <laughs> we will need a couple of rubber bands, a comb, hair pins, uh -huh. tape, okay. and a piece of cardstock cut into a square. Cardstock? Yeah, five inches on each side. Okay, ready, Barbie? I can't wait. Okay, first thing we do is to separate a section of the hair in the front, like this. Keep it separate, and we work on the unicorn tail. You divide the ponytail into two parts, then you take the first section of hair, and you make a really high ponytail with it, and you tie it with a hairband. You see? Okay, then we take the hair from the smaller ponytail and we wrap it around the main ponytail, just like this. And Hazel taught me to secure it with a bobby pin. Now you have a nice high unicorn tail. Okay, now for the horn. You take your square cardstock and you roll it into a cone, like this. And then secure it with tape. Then you wrap the hair around the cone and secure it with a bobby pin. And ta-da! Unicorn hair! <laughs> so what do you think, Barbie? I love it! It makes me feel like anything is possible because that's how it feels to be a unicorn, right? That's right. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Can you do my hair like this every day? Of course. Oh, fantastic. You ready? Yep. Pace! Pace. Hey, guys. So I've been thinking about what I want to do for Halloween this year. And I've been wanting to do something that's really special, something that really inspires me. So I've decided I'm gonna be a deer. Yay! I don't know if you know this, but deer have great power, determination, and grace. I love that. They're sensitive and intuitive. Oh, and they have the magical ability to grow their antlers back every year. There's a lot to love about deer. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do my deer makeup. I like to start with a light foundation all over my face to even out the color. Then I use a white foundation stick or makeup. I put triangles under my eyes and around the nose and on the forehead and above the eyes and on your eyelids. Then blend it in. I like to then put a shimmery white eye makeup on the lids like this. Then take a darker contour color, light to medium brown, contour your cheekbones like this. I also put a little bit around my forehead and a little bit under the lower lip. Then blend it in. And now, the eyes. You want to elongate the inner corner of the eyes. Work from the inside of the eye out. Add mascara and voila, beautiful doe eyes. Now use a small brush and use a dark brown powder or eyeliner. Fill in your eyebrows. Don't be afraid to make them stand out. Then take the brush and powder and extend down from the eyebrows along the top of the nose down to the tip. And fill in the tip of your nose like this. And the final touch, I put white dots on my cheeks and above my eyes. Ta-da! Oh, wait, I can't be a deer without powerful antlers. So I attached long twigs to hair bands. And ta-da! Happy Halloween! Peace! Thank you so much for watching. Oh, Taffy! I want to say hi too! <laughs> hi! See you soon! Five million subscribers? Are you kidding me? You are the best! Thank you so much! Ken! Ken! Everyone's been asking me to do another vlog with you. It has been a while. It has been, but it's really good to be back. And I've really enjoyed your post since I've been gone. Yeah? Yeah, I really love the one about the dream gap. It, it really made me think. Thanks so much. That really means a lot. You're welcome. Okay, so time for my yearly makeup tutorial. Oh, I love that you've been doing your own versions. It's made me so happy. <laughs> um, today, we will be making up Ken. Oh, 
We are. As what? <laughs> yes, as a mountain lion in honor of the beautiful mountain lions in the Santa Monica Mountains. Okay, so you'll need some foundation, white or light concealer, bronzer, black eyeliner, and eyebrow pencil. You'll need a couple of brushes of different sizes and a blender sponge. Start with your foundation and make sure to blend it in. Apply the bronzer around the hairline, outside the nose like this, and around the jaw. Extend bronzer underneath the cheeks and around the mouth to make the lion's mouth. Extend the bronzer up from the nose to the inside of the eyes and apply bronzer onto the lids of your eyes, or Ken's eyes, like this. It feels like I have a lot of makeup on. Shh, shh, you got this. Apply the light concealer above your eyebrows, under the eyes, and around the mouth, like this. Blend in a bit, but not so much that you don't see the contour. That, that kind of tickles. Good. Use your black eyeliner to give your eyes a cat shape like this. Use the eyeliner to create your cat nose. Outline the tip of your nose like this and fill it in. Draw a line down to the mouth. A lion's nose. Also use the black eyeliner to outline the upper lip and fill it in. Ow, Just, ow! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Take your eyebrow pencil and fill in your eyebrows to make them thick and bushy. Here's my favorite part. Use your eyeliner pencil to make the whiskers. Yeah, growl. growl. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> Final touch. I am proud of this work. Proud. Uh huh. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. But what good is a pride with only one? Good point. <laughs> rawr. rawr. <laughs> <laughs> we could be a pride alliance for Halloween. <gasps> That's a great idea. We could get everyone to do it. Thank you so much for coming on my vlog, Ken, and letting me make you up. It's almost like a Halloween tutorial meets boyfriend tag. Uh, I mean like boyfriend, like boy friend. Um, happy Halloween! Face! Right, face. You know, Barbie, I have been thinking a little bit that, I don't know, maybe. It's that time of year. Makeup Tutorial Halloween Edition. So, have you figured out what my favorite animal is? <laughs> I guess it's actually pretty hard, because I like a lot of animals. Quokka, wombats, dogs. <laughs> but one of my all-time favorites is the panda. So today, I am going to show you how to do panda makeup for Halloween. I start with a clean face and then I add primer so that the makeup goes on smoothly. You can find inexpensive primer at any store that sells makeup or skincare products. Part one, the eyes. I take a large eye crayon like this and I draw circles around each eye. Now pandas have an extra little swoop at the bottom so I make sure to add that in like this. Eyes part two. I then fill in the circles. and add some black matte eyeshadow on top to make sure the circles are more solid. And then the face. Then you fill in the whole face all white. I use white face paint, which you can get at any costume store. And then the nose. That's my favorite part of the costume. And my favorite part of the panda. <laughs> so cute, it's like a cat's nose, even though they're not related. So I take a large black eye pencil and I color in the tip of my nose like this. Lips. I use the eyeliner to color in my lips black. It's hard to talk when you're doing a lip. Cupid's bow. Did you know this was called the Cupid's bow? I use a black eyeliner for this as well, and I draw a nice clean line from the mouth to the nose. The finishing. Okay, so then I take a very thin black eyeliner pencil and go back and make sure all the lines are clean. Sometimes the white paint overlaps them. So you take the black pencil and you go around the eyes to make sure that that is a clean line. And then the same pencil right inside so that all you see is black, like that. The ears. No panda is complete without cute little panda ears. So I cut black felt into the shape of ears and then glued them onto a headband and ta-da, I'm a panda. 
Happy Halloween! Let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. Oh, and if you try this tutorial, can you tag me? I'd love to see how you look. Peace! <laughs> hey everyone, I hope you're loving my vlog. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest Barbie vlogs and more. Oh, and let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. I'll be reading them, so you may just see what you ask for. Stay tuned. Pace.